chat among pigeons, the devil in velvet. I should stop one heart from preaching. <laughs> Stop one heart from preaching. Well, yeah, it has been two deaths now, so the entire penetrony will go mad. Witness the second murder. So, Firefly and Robin. This, this is, uh, and Robin, though. Like, what the actual heck is going on in Dream Chaser? This is such a mess. You originally thought this trip was all about having fun without any goals of surprise or purpose, but who would have thought the story shifted in this direction? The IPCs with talked enough devious representative proposes a deal with you, but you don't even know what chips you are currently holding. Tell you, tell you, are you a gambler? Love dangerous, I love dangerous chance. The Silver Tongue IPC spokesperson has offered you a deal, and you happen to be a natural gambler. The most important thing is to absorb the joy generated through the course of the game. Instead of being obsessed with a victory, you can laugh under any circumstances, which is a good thing. After all, sometimes it's not up to you whether you will join a game. A lot of messages that were, I mean, I went in. Wait, let me see. Penetroni. So the sound of fury, at least I think that this was version 2.0 story quest, I think. Could be wrong about that, but I could also be right. Oh, it, at least it seems like it. Okay. So, uh... I guess that this is starting a, a new the version 2.1 storage west I think <sighs> all right let's, let's have a look at that uh, sweet dream times how much do you know about the reveries indefinite closure? The revel, the revel located in Golden Hour is currently undergoing, undergoing renovations. I'm sure that every guest has seen this notice on the Dreamscape Pass. Certainly, the majority of guests will have no reason to doubt this official explanation provided by the family. However, should one have a peculiar hunger for the truth, oh, again with this truth, they may not have to delve too deep in order to find holes in this story. If you are naturally a person of truth and integrity and wish to explore the truth, please feel free to contact Slinger, Singler, investigative, investigative reporter of the Sweet Dream Times. Together, we will expose the truth behind the closure of the reverie that the family seeks to cover up. Slaughterhouse. Okay. Uh, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Huh? Tick tock, tick tock, tick. Okay, tick tock. 
Tick touch the reverie, tick touch the snooker room, tick touch. Dreams and the art of clutch maintenance. Okay, uh. Dr. Edward. Hello, Mr. Lemo. Someone just donated a dream bubble to your store, to our store. After conducting a psychometric spectral analysis on it, I suspect you would be interested in the contents of this dream bubble. Who donated it to you? The donor is an elegant lady with the name Black Swan. If you have the time, we would love to to have you any time. Masturbate, do it. So. Okay, so this is a, a companion mission, I think. Penetroni luxury goods. A special deal spent uh, 46,700,000 alfalfa credits to enjoy a 12% discount on additional item. Discounted items include, but are not limited to, jewelry, watches, bands, high quality tailored clothing items, and more. Our uh, distinguished tr customers are welcome to stop by and make a selection as they please when visiting the OT Mall. For details and for detailed information regarding the sales event, please speak to the store manager Krokona. Krokona, thank you. Okay, uh, Leslie, De De uh, Leslie Dean fans unite. Uh, unofficial uh, channels indicate that Leslie Dean, the superstar or actor who passed away at a young age, has re recently appeared in Golden Hour in Penetroni, creating quite a shock. There is currently no evidence to show that the Leslie Dean appearing in Dreamscape is the real Cosmic Star. The Sweet Dream Times editorials would like to urge fans to act with constraint and not to break the rules in the Dreamscape. Cosmic Star, alright. Master it, do it. Um, I think I'll start uh, version 2.1 now, so that, uh, you know, this might be used for later in terms of uh, content, I suppose. <laughs> uh, but anyways, let's go. Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. How is that possible? Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me, and they hate the IPC. So they'd never lie. <laughs> this is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Okay. Did you really think the Galaxy Ranger was an outsider this whole time? Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's dream weavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. Okay, but who is she? Eifert's death was a foregone conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die?
It's just one side of the story. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. <laughs> I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panicone. Everyone's got their own agenda. That's also what Firefly said when we were on the, the, the balcony um, under the shooting st uh, the night filled shooting star. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. <laughs> if I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows, right? Who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? <laughs> Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one. And there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the Garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. <laughs> You think him or chose to accept or even wealth or march? I told you, I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagony for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. Hmm. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. How rude. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. <laughs> It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever been the wiser. Shout out to, to the voice actor of Venturing. Always an amazing job. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. What kind of help? I have but only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family, so they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions, and that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. <laughs> the Nameless would never associate with the IPC. Just head back and talk things over with your companions. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. 
So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. <laughs> I'm venturing just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. Yep. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? <laughs> Beats me. 50,000 credits? Dude. That's generous, I uh, suppose. On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. But, judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death to try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool, and working with him definitely has its dangers. For Firefly's sake, we must get to the bottom of all this. And also, the nameless cannot turn a blind eye to evil. That is something I agree on. Anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. Yeah, of course. As for the other questions... Did death kill Robin? I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound looked like its winged blade. We've all witnessed it in action before. Yeah, don't remind me. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. Hmm. Do you think this is connected to Akira? Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. But, without a doubt, she is the most special guest at this banquet. It's like Aventurine said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. Have you noticed anything else unusual? Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up, making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or, everything has been planned out and executed by someone. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a stowaway, then a family celebrity, then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. I don't have any other questions. It's all happened so quickly, I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Hmm. Last one leads you through the chaotic dreamscape. Come this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. I won't. <laughs> After on the black swan. Running together. Yep. First off, I'm gonna treat this. Stalron Hunter Sam. What a badass. Oh. Wait, was it here or no? Don't care about that. This way. This is where we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. 
Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. And it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. Yeah. Uh, th thank you, Black Swan, for your commitment. Um, hey, Emily. Uh, but follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths. And ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Precious memories. Yeah, I guess so. Ah, hold on just a sec. Black Swan gently touches the root of your ear, leaving a cruel sensation, and she hands there you go. something. A small parting gift. Okay. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone, and there's no memo keeper to join you, mm -hmm. hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. What is it? I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Yeah, well, uh... What can I say? Uh, thank you. Then, I have something private to take care of regarding that Galaxy Ranger. Let's leave things there, shall we? Yeah, I suppose. What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. I sincerely look forward to them too. I suppose as well, because, you know, you will... You're still shrouded in mystery, Black Swan. <clears throat> oh. Well, uh... Alpha coins, I think? I think that's that, yeah. But I don't know what Black Swan gave me. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Uh, the mole? Is still at hotel in the dream shape? The mole? The mole? <laughs> okay, well. Have you run into trouble? We got separated in the memory zone, but the mold's with the memory keeper. I feel so antsy. Help, March, stay calm. Do I need to get off the express and help? Not at the moment. Sure, just let me know if you need help. The Reverie Hotel is the real world. Is, in the real world, is very calm. Not much is happening. I mean, it's, yeah, okay. Oh, are you? I'm done. I finished investigating on my side, I suppose. With deaths all around. Where should I go to meet you? The mold. Most great that you're safe. Yeah, the lady didn't do anything bad, did she? I'm sorry about what happened to Firefly. The scene has been codoned off by. Codoned? I think? Yeah. The scene has, has been codoned. Well, anyways, the scene has been codoned off by the family. We're wrapping up in negotiations with some family delegates. Let's meet somewhere near the Clarky statue later. A uh, family rap. Is Himago okay? What's this? Fate's Epsil. The parting gift from Black Swan. A tiny child numbered zero. Seemingly, seemingly absent from uh, Black Swan's collection. In the child's art, she casts her gaze into the mist of destiny. If one day you have unfortunately sunk into the memory zone's deep seas without memory keeper by yourself, will judge you out on my behalf. And it's a uh, card of her. Okay. <laughs> Family re reunion, I suppose. But yeah. Uh, that's where I'll stop for today, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the continuation of 2.1 Story Quest regarding uh, Panactoni and stuff. So, Lots of uh, convoluted things now, more questions and answers, and I can't wait to find out the real truth, whatever that means. But yeah, um, I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!